What's up YouTube, it is your boy the Black Exorcist here and I'm back bringing you another video. This time around we're still under Eyes of Dragon and I want to go back and I want to I want to recant my words in a sense where I remember I talked about the Void Bow being shitty. I want to I want to take that back because I feel like that was the wrong choice of words because with any bow and you can see the Void Bow here, any bow you can do well when you can get to a high round here. Uh, my highest now with the Void Bow is 40. I went to 15, I didn't get that much of a chance, you know, I just was playing to get it, I think I got frustrated with it, I didn't give it enough ch of a chance to really, to really see what it could do, so I want to take that back, I want to apologize to all my viewers who saw that and just allowed me to dismiss the Void Bow, because the Void Bow is not that bad, I repeat, it is not that bad, and when you look about it, none of the bows upgraded are shitty, okay, it's like with the staffs, none of the staffs upgrade, none of the staffs at all are shitty, okay, none of the staffs upgrade are shitty, the wind staff is not shitty, people always said the uh, wind staff was shitty because, uh, what was it, uh, it's, it didn't kill at a certain round, but if you held it on the dead, infinite damage when you held it, so I mean, you know, it's just it's one of those things where it's like, it's not shitty, you just gotta know how to use it properly, okay, and it's easy to say, oh yeah, the lightning is the best one, or, you know, actually, the lightning's the best one for both the wind and, uh, the lightning is the best one for both the bow and the stack. It's easy to say that because lightning does the most damage. Lightning has the most range. It's easy to say that. But in another situation, you could say that, you know, these type of bows avoid or uh, wind, perhaps, ice, ice staff. You know, you could say that these require more skill, more precision to use effectively because when you use it, it is effective. It really is effective. Okay, I out here, I, I made the round four, like I said, I was doing work, and I was, you know, relying mostly on the sub bow to clear the whores out at one point in time, because I, I used the Krokuda, okay, it doesn't do much damage, alright, that just, let's be real, that does not do much damage at all at a certain point, so yeah, you know, I was definitely using it, it, it was working for me, you know, and I think, you know, I, I definitely need to recant what I said when I said it was shitty, it is not shitty, you have to get it time, now the upgrade process is still a bitch, it's still annoying, because you know you have to knife the zombie, you know whatever. You might start to start around six. You might not have an instant kill, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. And then you know you have to find those fucking pieces, and you know those drops though they don't come you know when you want them to come. They just they come randomly in my opinion. So you know you don't. It still is a bitch to upgrade, but it's not as bad as fire. Like fire is a hell to upgrade if you don't have good aim. If you can't hit those fucking shit from third, if you can't hit that rock right after the fucking rocket goes off you can't hit that you're gonna have a bad time if you can't hit those three circles while you're in the air you're gonna have a bad time you gotta keep paying for this to happen constantly you have to use the wonder uh, wonder spear and that costs 500 each time and that adds up that adds up fast you need at least minimum of, um if you want to hit them all you know one at a time you need at least a minimum of 1500 points if you want to hit them all, like, all at once you need 500 i mean that's kind of hard to do but you know People, it takes time, okay? It takes time, it takes money, but with the void, you know, all it does is just take time. It takes time, that's it. It's not really that much money involved unless you want to talk about opening the doors, but you know, you're gonna do that anyway with any ball. Alright, it's, it's, it still doesn't kill automatically, it still has delay. Yeah, that's not that great. I understand it's not that great because it has those things, but at the same time, if you can just hold off, you're fine, alright? I think the biggest problem that I had with the void ball was that I was reckless. And, uh, you know, I just, yeah, I was reckless, all right? I just want to say that I was really, really reckless, and I just didn't appreciate, uh, you know, everything I could do with it, I guess. And I put myself in a lot of corners, put myself in a bad situation where I, you know, could fuck myself over, and that that became my problem. That's my problem with the Void Boy. I was reckless with it, and I didn't really consider it. I didn't really take too much time to understand how to use it. But I was just saying, you know, I played with these bow, I played with this bow and this bow. I know what I'm doing. The void bow is the problem, not my playing type. My playing type was the problem for this weapon, and you have to you have to adjust to it. It's not necessarily the easiest thing to use, okay? Like there is still the delay. You still gotta wait for the scars to, uh, you know, to finish. You gotta keep moving. You're not gonna be able to revive your teammates. High chance of that, unless you clear them all out first. And that's the thing, like, it's not it's not easy, okay? It's not easy to use, but is it effective? That's what I want. I keep wanting to stress that point out. Lightning is easy to use, and that's what makes it boring. I can't, I want to make it the roll with the, I have, you know, I'm extremely the roll with the 50, I, I want to make it the round 50, but I don't want to use the lightning ball. Unless I'm playing with somebody else in the game where they use lightning balls like a tank or, you know, like to hold it down, like, that's cool, that's fine, that's cool, whatever. I don't want to use it myself. It's too easy. It's way too easy. I would have been have it by now if that's the case, 
it's just way too easy to do. And I just, I don't think, you know, like knowing my skill levels as a Call of Duty Zombie player, knowing my skill as it, I don't think that'd be fair because I just know I could do it. It's not that hard. The only problem is Ronnie got an ammo, but hey, cash back, uh, alchemical antithesis, which is a free joint, so you can just keep getting it over and over and over again. Especially since, you know, when you have money, like, now that the gobble gun, you can buy that about three times, I believe. And, you know, you had the money to waste on them. So, even if it gets more expensive, it doesn't really matter. You had the money to waste. So, you know, it's just like, it's easy. It's too easy. And I want to challenge. That's what I've been doing with the wolf. That's what I've been doing. Doing it with a uh, void. And I've gotten closer with the void than I did with the wolf. I got closer with the void than I did with fire. And, um, actually, that's a lie. I got the 46 with fire. So that's a lot, but yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> but the thing is that void, you know, you, you shouldn't underestimate it. You definitely shouldn't say that it sucks in comparison because everything in comparison to lightning, everything sucks. Lightning is overpowered right now, and that's just that's just the way it is. It's the way it is. That's the way that Treyarch made their game. Lightning is overpowered, and that's just what you're gonna have to, you know, you get to play it to accept it. You're gonna have to deal with it. That lightning, uh, the lightning bolt is the most overpowered bow. And you know, if you play with them, I mean, that's if that's what you want to do, that's your play style, go ahead. But at the same time, you know, it's you're not going to have that much fun, you know, just sitting in a corner, you know, holding it off, you know, just shooting the arrow whenever you need to see this. It gets boring. There, there is no instruction like, oh shit, oh shit, like, you know, like, ah. you know, there's a, there's a couple moments in this game, but I'm not sure if I'm going to highlight the whole thing out because this is about 30 minutes gameplay and I'm going to edit it down, obviously. I'm going to reuse it for a video tomorrow as well. So I'm going to use some different parts of tomorrow as well. So, you know, this is like 30 minute gameplay, but the thing is, there are star times in this gameplay. You're going to say it's today or tomorrow. I hope. Actually, I should add a part. I'm going to add a part in just for this. When it's like, it's that oh shit moment. <laughs> that moment where you're doing something dumb. You know you really shouldn't be doing it. But because it's like, you know, it's, it's that wrist moment. It's that wrist moment. And that wrist is not there. You have the lightning bolt. When you have the lightning bolt, just shoot it to the ground and you're good. But this right here is a true risk moment, okay? It's like, oh shit, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to be dumb. I'm going to have fun. Because that's that's what that's what we played it for, okay? We play it for the risk. We play it for the thrill of it, you could say. Um, it kind of, it's kind of like a rush of adrenaline, honestly. Like, you see if you can get it or not. And it's, it's, it's that it's that type of, you know, gameplay that I crave in something. And I think, honestly, this is going to be my come my favorite mode now. Uh, just honestly like that, I think Void Ball is my favorite ball. Nobody wants it. Because everybody thinks it's shitty. <laughs> just like with Ice, uh, Ice and Win. That's why I, I use Ice Tucky, or Jesus Christ uses Win. So, um, and that's because you know, nobody wanted it. And I think this is going to be another one of the ones where, like, I just take it because nobody fucking wants it. Even though I think it's one of the best ones in the game, nobody fucking wants it. Oh, I would say it's the best one in the game. Because, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's, all the bulls are the best ones in the game. But, uh, let's see. I think that's all I got for you guys today. I just want to say thank you for watching this uh, video, you know, expressing my thoughts and opinions. Hey, hey, what's your favorite bow? Leave that comment down below. You know, I know I made a bow video before you. I don't know actually this question already, but hey, I'm curious. Leave your favorite bow below. Uh, like this video if you haven't. Um, and share some of your cool things. Like, you know, we, we're, our channel, I feel like it's been uh, one upward success. Maybe, I just, I'm just feeling dumb and shit, but... You know, I see that I got I got a couple more subscribers this past month. I had like 30 something, and I'm at like 40 something, like early 40s or whatever. And I, I, I'm kind of happy about that. So you know, you know, keep up with your guys is doing. Share the video, you know, like, tell your friends, all that. It's amazing. I kinda, it makes me feel good about it myself, you know. And I just I just love it honestly. <laughs> and I'm glad that you know some people are enjoying the content that I produce. But make sure you definitely leave your uh, opinions below about what's your favorite bow and what you think about what I have to say. Like obviously you know you see some of the void gameplay I showed you here. It's not doing too 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 bad compared to some of the other bows. You know it's not killing instantly, but at this point what the only bow that's gonna kill us is like, um, you know. Fire is not going to be doing it. Wolf is not going to be doing it. So you know you, you know you have an uh, opportunity to really you know broaden horizons with the weapons that you're doing. And, and keep in mind that void is unique. We've seen like you know a lightning s you know style before. We've seen that a lot of times. We've seen a fire s style before. You know, hey the the prison type of thing that's kind of new, but at the same time it's still fire. You know what the deal is. The spirit bow is kind of like, you know, a wonder weapon in a sense where you just push, pushes them away if it doesn't kill them, you know, down them. But then the void, that, that's, this is, is unique. And I said that in the beginning. I said that in the beginning before. It is really, really unique. And it's really, really a cool concept. 
before I just couldn't appreciate the concept that it was. I'm just really going back on that. I appreciate this concept. It's really dope. Like my channel or subscribe to my channel. Like my video. Comment if you haven't already. And I'm gone. Rolled around 55 minutes.